So we ready for the mysterious meeting? Um, uh, so we're ready for the mysterious meeting. Sure. Yes. Okay. Here is, we're having Dos Equis. Mysterious beers. For Someday the Seckies will find us and be like, oh, they really like us. They have us every episode and they rate us differently somehow. I know we like advertise them every episode. That's that's why are they paying us, damn it? Right. Where are you at, Dos Equis? Dos Equis, you could at very least decide that I'm the most interesting man in the world and have me be on like one commercial. I'm probably the most interesting man in the world. That We're all the most interesting <laughs> men in the world, Dos Equis. Have us in one of your TV commercials. And you have a very large penis, apparently, which is super cool. Can you guys already smell what this is? Because I can. I was going to say, I got a whiff of it, but I couldn't Ooh, tell what it there's was. There's a funk about it. A funk about it? It's... Ooh. There's a weird... Is it banana? No, it is not. It's got a... Is it... French I like this. Go. What? It's... Mm. French toast is kind of close. Pancakes? It is pancakes. So maple? Maple and something. Pecan. No. There's Hold a fruit on. in there too. Blueberry. Not, is it blueberry? A lot of times they put blueberry with uh maple blueberry. Yeah, that's definitely blueberry. It's like a good breakfast to eat. That's good, up. right? That's delicious. So this is Ellicottville. And it I think it's kind of a new one, maybe. At least they just had it up on their uh, Instagram. Um, it's blueberry maple pancake. It's a 7%. It's an ale brewed with blueberry and local maple syrup. And I can't remember what the name of the company is. The like maple Ellicott syrup. Brewery. We've had it. Well, the Ellicottville, obviously, but the maple syrup came from somewhere, and I can't remember what it was right now. Um, but anyway, they were established in 1995 in New York Ski Country, and which is deemed the Aspen of the East. Their slogan is brewed to entertain. They do concerts, festivals, and group tours. And I was having a hard time telling whether they have four or five locations, but the food looks amazing. I didn't really, I didn't really get too much history out of them, but. Well, I'm telling you right now, I love this. It's hitting the uh, button for me that is the combination of uh, blueberry and pastry. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This, like, I'm sad that I don't have one of these for myself for breakfast. Yeah. Like, Give me some blueberry pancakes in this, and like tomorrow's supposed to be like a massive snowstorm. That would be like fucking perfect way to start my day. That would Not be. have any fucking work responsibilities and sit there and work on a case of these. Did we recently have an Ellicottville beer? I think we did. Well, there was like a Christmas orange or something. Yeah, they had that one that you didn't like. The um, it was like the the, the, the chocolate like chocolate the orange flavor. Yeah. yeah the, Ooh, that's the one. There that yeah. was the one. Because I knew, I was like, because I just, I, for some reason, I, like, when you said Ella Cottmel, I was like, I've heard her say it before here recently. Like, it was just like, boom, there. That's really fucking good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the, I don't even have to think I'm writing on that. That's a good That one. blueberry sticks Sprigs, to the back of your throat. Yeah. Sprague's Blueberry Maple Pancakes. Sprague's? It's S-P-R-A-G-U-E. Uh, Sprague. Sprague? Maybe. So that's the company, and I think it's some... Somewhere out of the same area. Like it's making me want to stop at Kroger's on the way home and get some shit to make. I want pancakes, really bad. Yeah. Frank's Maple Farm. Mm, so you I've had made some blueberry pancakes this weekend. So Ron, why don't you tell us your story about my game night? So uh, what was the drawing game? At so uh, we illustrations had illustrations. Illustrations. So she had a game night. Um, illustrations. There was one of the things we played during the game night. And basically, Telestrations is kind of like a Pictionary, but you start off with, you get a card with a bunch of words on it. It's Telephone and Pictionary together. Um, on the first page, you get a word with the number of people we had anyway, and you write the word down. And then on the next page, you tried, the, per the person tried to draw the picture of whatever the word was. And then depending on which round we're playing, we either pass to the right or the left, and you know the person who saw the picture would then try to say okay well like for example the one of the times i remember i got the word banana so i drew a very nice banana that got passed around and someone said oh look it's a banana the next person attempted to draw a banana and i think they were trying to draw a banana hanging on like one of those little hook things and draw a bunch and they did a shitty drawing of it 
and it got past the next person, and they put test tube baby. <laughs> right. And then the next thing that came out after test tube baby was a picture of a baby in a jar with a bottle. And then, like, the next one person was like, I have no fucking clue, Prince Albert in a can or some shit. That was baby, baby in a jar is what Yeah, baby in a jar. <laughs> baby in a jar, I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so basically, you draw a card, it has a word or a phrase on it, you, so you flip the page, and then you draw that word or phrase, and then you pass it on to the next person, and they look at your drawing, and they try to guess what it is. So the next page, they write the guess. And then you pass it over to somebody else, and then the next person looks at what that guess is, and so they have to draw that guess. And if they are absolutely clueless, that guess is ridiculous, and you're like, why the fuck is this even a thing? So you have to try to draw the ridiculous made-up thing that is not a thing, and so you pass it around until now, now, you get to the last page. And, and then add a bunch it. of uh, fucked up pervy people in the mix. Well, it was already the dirty version of the game. Yeah. It wasn't as dirty as it normally gets either because we usually use different cards. Because my friend has, I think it's called Drawing Without Dignity, and it has some like really messed up, like Bukaki and shit oh, like that's that. Oh, that's good stuff. And this was like tame compared to what it normally is. That's good times. Well, well, I just remember one of the times... The word, the, the thing that I got that came through was uh, beating your meat. And I was like, the fuck? I was like, I could draw a picture of somebody jerking and off. And it was meat tenderizer is what it started off as. But like, basically, I was like, I don't know what the fuck this shit is, but it was beating your meat. I'm like, okay. So I drew a stick figure, dude. I drew him with a huge fucking cock. And then I took a hammer, and the hammer was swinging towards the stick. And I'm like, that's how you beat your meat, right? So, but you were going to tell the story about how I drew a picture of you. Yes. I, I can't remember how we got to I don't remember you. what the prompt was. I don't either. I wish we did. I wish we paid more attention. But, I took um, a picture of the prompt, too, or took a picture of but, everyone in there. But, like, Missy was, uh, I think, in that round year before me. She was sitting right next to me. But well, Alan uh, had big, hairy, naked guy. That was his guess. And I was like... And I'm looking at, and I'm like, it was my, it was my drawing because I remember flipping through and laughing my ass off as I was. All I, I know is that when it came to me, Missy spent a like ridiculous amount of time, and she just drew this like picture of me from like the gut up, fucking <laughs> body hair all over the place, glasses. There was no doubt it was me. I think there was a transformer in there and some but other yeah, I shit. Like, I, well, I tried to draw the transformer faces just so it would like represent you, and I couldn't, so I drew a shelf, and I drew Optimus Prime in semi-form, and then I just drew a robot to signify like transformers. But I, I just stopped because it was just like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I fucking love you, you fucking bitch. It oh my awesome. God. Because like at the end, you get your... Uh, your pad back and you flip through and see like if you know just see, to see how it got to where it got to and like I happen to have this one I flip through and I get flipped to Ron's page and I just like busted out laughing it was freaking hilarious I, when you got to, I didn't know who had the, the, the book and then you had it and you look straight at me laughing I'm like she's the one that had it she knew what I did she Dude, I can tell you're drawing <laughs> And it was just like, but, but like, who else would have drawn Ron right. for one? And it was just like, it was so perfect because I'm sitting there like immediately, and I'm like, big, hairy, naked guy. And I'm like, I got this. This, this is the life I've been training for my whole life. And then I'm like, so I'm just like staring at you. And then I'm looking at everybody else to make sure I'm not, they don't see me staring at you. And then I'm doing this. And then I'm like looking down and comparing them. Like, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. Going, this, I, 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 when I was waiting for it, because I got finished, just like, come on. I was like, come on. Hurry up. I didn't even think of it as being sus at that point. I was just like, hurry the fuck up. I, I, I definitely did not want it to be sus because then if everybody, like, you called me out, people would see me. I'm like, damn it, now they all knew I drew a picture of Ron. Well, whenever it's messy, I just, I, I gotta remind myself it's immediately sus. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> That's probably not It's wrong. immediately it sus. It's to you for sure. <laughs> Never trust the Missy, ever. I trust the missing. Absolutely. See, it's, yeah. Well, yeah, because, you know, you're not a fat, hairy, naked guy. <laughs> no right. If, 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 if okay, you already you're, established my penis earlier. Your right. penis is fine, but you're not a fat, hairy guy. I let it all grow out of candy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> see? Time for some laser treatments, folks. Time to get all this blasted off. Help me pay for laser treatments. <laughs> there you go. 
This, what, what, I was, I was going to say Patreon. his Patreon, but I'm, I, go fund me. Go fund Ooh. Ron and his uh, laser treatments. It would be really hilarious if I me made too. it and shared it to his page. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy Ron. How many people do you think would think we'd contribute to that? I don't think we would Dude, want if to. if you share it to his page, those people actually legit, his friends would be like, bam, send a $20, and then all of his friends would send $20. I don't like, know, it, though, it would definitely be for like the sake of being dicks, but there'd be a good chunk of it. We, right. we wouldn't be able to make fun anymore, though. Like, we would lose all no, of our, cause then we'd be lose like, our material. No, because then you'd be like, ha, oh, we're not talking about your ass, Lisa Treatments. You fucking did it! I'd be, I would just be rubbing all over me so <laughs> like that's right. I'm so pretty. I'm so smooth and pretty. And thick. That's so funny. That's that's awesome. Really, laser treatments are less the concern. How about just transplanting it from down here to up here? That would be kind of humorous. I I don't. This was like our second episode. We talked about that too. Well, it, we were talking about that not that long ago because this is all strictly <laughs> ball hair. That's like the exactly. ball hair mohawk. That, that, that was. <laughs> That was, yeah. Uh, that was like a couple weeks ago. Was that on Miss Behavior or was that on Buffalo? It was Miss Behavior. Okay. That's funny. So, but anyway, this beer is amazing. Mm -hmm. It is. I'm going to definitely give that a five. I yeah. I give it, well, you know, I want to give it a five, but it does, I also want to give it like a, like a 4.5 or a 4.75. And the only reason why is because... I don't know. Maybe because I don't have breakfast with it right now, or because I... It's very fine and thin. It, it's I, I prefer a little bit more body. I just... With a sweet beer. Or with see, like a... That's my page. See, for me, the reason I'm going five is it's hidden. Did I do it? No. Oh, okay. I know. I was playing with the tags. I thought maybe oh, I fucked it up. Yeah. See, for me, I'm giving it a five because it's hitting that very strong blueberry note that, like, there's a donut shop in Eaton near where my folks live that does uh, blueberry cake donuts. It is hitting both of those flavors for me. The, the, the cakey, doughy, and that strong, like, slightly bitter blueberry flavor. It is. It is literally a blueberry pancake with maple. You can taste each individual flavor in that. And the thing of it is... It's very delicious blueberry. Most blueberry beers just have like, oh, this has a different flavor, and it's a fruit flavor, and it's 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 got like that. It's a dried blueberry flavor. It always tastes like asparagus. And I was gonna say for you, it always tastes like asparagus. Which that t I, I understand the difference between the flavors now because you didn't say that one tasted like asparagus, mm -hmm. and for that it's like. Like when you eat actual blueberries, that's what the blueberry beers usually taste like. It has that like blueberry. a little bit of a tart, and this is all sweet. I'll say blueberry on its own is like a pretty light, understated flavor. Yeah. That now you can get when you're just eating blueberries, like picking them out of the field. You can definitely get that like strong hit of blueberry, but it's a very light flavor for the most part. Right. They, every once in a while, you have like there's just like a tart bit to m blueberries. Yeah. And that's what the uh, typical blueberry beer is. This is delicious. So what did you say you gave it? I I give it like a four. Yeah, like a four point. I'll give it a four point seven five because I really like it, but I just want it to have more body. It's a very thin beer. I'm gonna give seven five too. Which for this, so even though it's sweeter, it would be a good lawn mowing beer. It would be a good. Blazing the sun beer. So if you're out, it's see. I like it, it's not too sweet, so it's not sickeningly sweet to be in the sun. It is more so like you could endure it. It's not heavy at the very least. It's light. See, for me, I like it because it doesn't have as much body. It's not a thick, heavy, right. stouty kind of a thing. So I could drink a couple of them. Right now, I, I do feel with all that blueberry flavor and the amount of blueberries they put in there. It's one of those in my brain is it's like if you eat anything like say blueberry cereal or anything, I'm like, if I drink like four of these, is this gonna change the color of my crap? No, and because it's not the it has a very beer colored beer. So this I feel like what am I gonna say about it? So 
the type of blueberry it tastes like is like if you buy a blueberry muffin mix and then it has those little pellets okay or like the pellets you get like i know waffle house has them now it's like the flavor it's not a real i was thinking flavor. like tim hortons does like a blueberry muffin kind of like that flavor a little bit um i probably haven't had it because i know they actually use fruit in their muffins i do believe it seems like they do I yeah it's been forever since i had one of those but like with these it's the fake is you get that flavor though don't you yes if you boil them and add some sugar or something like that to it yeah it's really good it's, so i made like syrups and stuff like that before so yeah it's it's the fake or sweet blueberry flavor instead of like a straight just blueberry handful of blueberries blueberry flavor well my fast definitely likes it and i just i haven't had anything in a while that i just like Damn, bitch. Damn. I don't want it to be heavy because I know we do a lot of pastry stouts and that's like sometimes it's all too much. If this just... It's just not the quite slightest, a pastry stout. It's not quite a pastry stout. No, stuff, because it? it's not thick at all. Like if it would have just like the slightest bit more body. I don't even want it to be thick at all. I just... It's super thin. Like, I don't know. Some beers that are super thin, like it would be easy to chug. What was the ABV on this? Uh, uh, seven and a half, I think. Okay. It would be... Seven. Super easy to chug, but that type of beer I don't want to chug. I don't want to drink a lot of them over and over. I just want to be able to sit, sip on them, and have that flavor like Savor the flavor. Them, right in my mouth, and then have another one after because it was so good, and then just be done with the two. Okay. Like the 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 thinness of that particular beer is the type of beer that you're like. Oh, I'm outside and drinking with friends, and I'm just gonna have a few of these. And then you have three of them, and you're like, "Damn, those went down super fast and quick." I'm guess I'm gonna have another one, and then another, and then my, my thoughts pretty on this. soon you have like six of them, and then you just went through them real fast. But the flavor doesn't suggest that. Like, my, I don't want to do that with that flavor. My thoughts on this are: if I went to their brewery and I got a flight, I would get you know four to flight, three to flight, five, whatever they do. And then I always, you know, after the fact, it's like, those were all good. I should get a pint of one of those. That would be the one I'd go back for the pint on. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely, yeah. That, that's kind of my thoughts on that. That's exactly, yeah, I would definitely go back on that one. Yeah. And that should be, like, we should create a rating system. Like, you know, we have the, the numbers, but we should be like... You know, oh, I'd go back for this after a, a flight. Or, you know, oh, no, I would be pissed off. I would ask for a refund. Oh, throw this up, it was so disgusting. <laughs> right, I would choke on my toothbrush. This is, like so much. this is so gross, it's like trash water beer. Right. It's like dumpster fire beer. You had the trash water dumpster fire beer. Sour milk. Right. Uh, sloshed around in the dumpster. Right. Is that what it was? Yeah. 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 Sour milk and dumpster sludge. Yeah, that was good. Or be like, that was my favorite I'm gonna find ever. I swear, Fuck you that, I swear like the next time I get to a bottle shop, I'm going to look for Molly Hackridge. And get it and just to drink one that's not been like sitting in my fridge for a while and of questionable age and see if it is better fresher or treated with more, treated better I don't know I feel like it I don't know I think that's just the beer it was shit I but that other one we had that darkwing duck slash evil yeah, duck one was good yeah oh, it, was it redeemed really good. it did redeem it was kind of funny though because Missy was like we're, we're going to travel to Florida and we're going to go up to them and tell them how shitty their beer is. I and did. Then, like the next time we had a different one and it actually was pretty good. Right. So, um, mild subject change, but uh, Zach invited us to like a secret event that I won't get too in detail on. Right. Secret event at a brewery. At a brewery. So. Is this the event I know about? Yes. 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 That's so, the day for? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have more details was, about it in April. Yeah, everybody was sitting there talking about that and everything. So what are we going to do for dress? Are we going to dress up for that? Are we going to like do anything special for clothes? Should we make a t-shirt or something? Or should we just like go up all dressed to the nines like we're going out to a fancy something? We should other? have misbehavior t-shirts. We should, at least for us. And then if other people want something, you know, that'd be cool too. I think, so I was kind of planning a shirt that I would definitely like for myself. So like as like a host i love three quarter t-shirts like those are my favorite I like shirts. Them too, actually. and so i was thinking i'm like if we had a black sleeved one and then like this was white 
I'm like, that would look good with just the logo. Like, I, I think it would be plain and simple. I think black or red sleeves would both would be cool looking probably. So that would be good for like a, a staple shirt and then like we could have it. But I was thinking, I'm like, knowing me, I'd want to tie dye the shirt and then put the logo on there. But you would have to do it in such a way, like you would probably have to have a thick like white border around it so it would stand out from the tie dye. But I'm like, I've never seen a tie dye inside to a three quarter t-shirt. And I'm like, you'd have to like, I, I would definitely do that just to have one. You have to figure I, out if you're going to do that, you'd have to get like that screen printed on it because like that, uh, when I had that wine thing I did years ago and I made that like a uh, dragon's blood wine shirt. It you was like years it, ago. That was like, like, it feels like, it. like the, this was, that was like right around Summer the corner, like stuff. within the past couple years. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. I, it, like a year and a half ago tops, dude. It all feels like forever ago. I need to get off my ass and get brewing again. But, uh, the, uh, the, the, the printing shit that I used was just basically like an eight and a half by 11 white sheet that was printed on the ink jet. You, you can, you need to screen print that shit on to tie dye it right. Oh, absolutely. Like, well, not necessarily. If you have a good printer to do it, to like, because you would have to tie dye it first, and then you would have to put that over, like an overlay. But there's so many things that you can do, like you can actually order, or I mean, I don't know if you if you could find. There's screen printers in Dayton that have pretty like um, good prices, and I I kind of look at those. But there's also like just. Snork tees? No, maybe that's not it. It's, um... No, there's lots of There's, there's like, yeah, basically, like, you can just design your shirt and then put the link to your shirt and put pictures of your shirt on whatever you platform you want to advertise on, and then people can order it directly from there and just order one shirt and then, um, just buy a shirt. Yeah, but print it right then and send out to them or something. Absolutely, yeah. What a world we live in, man. Eh? Right. Because I was like, man, I'm just going to start ordering t-shirts, you know. Because I used, I used to like to make my own t-shirts. My dad had a really good printer, and I used to um, do all the iron-on shit. And it, it just, you know, you got a good printer. You got, like, it's, it's fun to do. I, I, I would do that for my own tie-dye tee, but. Like, one of these days, I need to get off my ass and just get rid of all of my old t-shirts and get all new. I was like, your t-shirts are looking really dingy, all of them. Every single one, I'm like, dude, bro, like, you can't even see the picture. It's so, like, faded and washed and just Well, like, crackled. it's from all the years of working at Honda where I wore their uniforms all the damn time. Right, and, and a t-shirt underneath. And, like, I barely, if ever, wore my actual clothes. It's like pants. It's like the last few years, I'm like, why do my blue jeans keep wearing out so fast? Well, I worked at Honda for six years. I wore their fucking white shirt, white pants every fucking day, and... They were all, hey, give me a new one. It's not like you got a fashion choice there. Right, fair. That's true. So, um, have we learned anything today? No, because we're not done yet. No? No. Oh, wake up thing. Okay, never mind. We haven't learned shit yet. <laughs> we haven't learned shit yet. We didn't learn a whole lot. We probably won't in the next 10 minutes, but. I learned a little bit. I learned a little bit, oh, yeah. We learned about. What have the, you learned, the, what, learned the, about? Life, love, yeah, being deep through a bite of All of the above. The Ariana's gag reflex doesn't uh, go away. Yeah, it doesn't It doesn't go numb with uh, beer like it's supposed to. However, Ron's yeah. gag reflex is, is he just... He doesn't even have one. Right, yeah. exactly. He, he just tries hey, to... He tries to pretend it's the beer, but really it's just that his, it's his love for dick that keeps it from the... No, it's not the beer. It's deep throwing the bottles, bitch. Get it right. All right, there you go. We'll see, you know. I still think that's just an excuse. And it's, it's All right, I do too. Mm, let's see. I don't think there's anything else I can it's say okay, about this beer. We accept you either way, Ron. You accept me either way? Yeah. With dicks or not? Yeah. That's right. Hot dog eating contest. Well, that was one of those in that fucking game. Wait, that it was. And oh yeah, that, that, that went through. Hot dog eating contest. That, recently. that went through. It was it started off as a hot dog eating contest, and then it like went to eating contest. This that and it went, like that has the little pellets in it, and so it's the fake blueberry flavor, which is really good. It's, it's I think if you if you like boil blueberry back and forth, and so when it got to me, it was eating contest, and I'm like, how do I draw that? I'm like. I'm like, you, you can eat pies at a contest, you eat watermelon. I'm like, 
hot dogs are easy to draw. So I just drew hot dogs and then it just kind of circled back around. But I think it like, you know, finished close to what it was. Yeah, that's that, nice. I, I, I'm still entertained whenever I think about hot dogging contest because probably 15 years ago plus now there was some like Japanese guy who was like the like best hot dog eating contest guy on the planet. You know, he could like down like, you know, 115 hot dogs in like a ridiculously short amount of time. That's too much. And he had to retire from the sport because he got arthritis in his jaw from eating too much too fast. Yikes. So basically, if you give a lot of head, you're going to end up with arthritis in your jaw. Then yeah, does, does, that, does, that count for, <laughs> does that count for workman's comp then? Why are you telling me? <laughs> well, it all depends if you're doing it for work. If you're just doing it on this, I mean. I meant the hot dog eating contest guy. What are you I, talking about? Well, see, if you are a like a like a cereal contest eater, not C E R E A L, but S I R R or not S I R R S. I don't know how to spell it. I've been drinking. A a, a but anyway, S. A professional con Pretty food, much, yes. food contest. Either. You are self-employed, so you do not get workman's comp unless you pay into an account to yourself, for yourself, and then get that back out. That's sad. It is, because I was like, damn it, that's right. If you get hurt, you're just you can't make a claim to anybody. So if that, you get laid off, you can't make a claim to or, you know, your so does job. That count is, with your, does that count with your OnlyFans also? Yeah, pretty much. That's how it would be. Like, you rip your asshole. You're like, I come claim work with scum. Oh wait, no. What about professional porn stars that you know work in a uh, professional acting environment? Are they freelance or are they like, if if they're hired on by a producer and they only work for that particular producer, then they probably could get a. I don't feel like it would be so easy to get the workman's comp. They'd be like, you're in porn. You don't need the, you know, whatever. But I feel like you would, as, as long as you have a true employer and you're not a freelance individual. So contract porn, self, star, contract porn star is the way to go. No self-employed, no, yeah, exactly, no freelance. You gotta, be a w, no. you gotta be a W2 porn star worker, not a 1099 porn star worker. Remember folks, we're going into tax season. That's right, there you go. Because if, as an Uber driver, I get a 1099 if I was to get hurt, Ubering, well, I'm fucked. Just like if she was a porn star. But if if I uh, get hurt Ubering, it's more than likely it's an automobile accident, so I just, you know, claim insurance, and that's what that would be. So I, like, looked up workman's comp porn. Oh, that's God. What I searched. <laughs> Apparently there's a lane for that, and I did not know this. There's a what for that? There's a lane. A lane? Watch workers' compensation porn videos for free. Oh, my God. <laughs> Workers' compensation. Search free sex videos. <laughs> Please, sir. I've definitely hurt myself. Work FBI guy who's spying on me, can, watching me do something kinky. If you let me suck you off and don't tell workman's comp that I'm cheating, maybe huh. we can work this out. That's great. I did not know that that was going to be a thing. <laughs> what the hell is it? Rule thirty-four, whatever. One of the fucking internet rules. It's like if. If you can think of it, porn that exists or something. Yeah. Let's see. Porn stars and workplace scars. It's one more the dick sleeps and it doesn't. Occupational dangers of being a porn star. Occupational dangers. I would think STDs and that's it. STDs, pregnancy. Or, or, or well, if a sore hole. If well, female, sore orifice. Sore orifice. If female porn star's vagina gets destroyed, will she get workers? And that's in your she, search history. Will she get workers' compensation? <laughs> See, what that I'm thinking, in your search history. You know, what I'm thinking is probably more of a realistic thing. Ask your mom. That was somebody's answer. That's great. Ask I'm thinking mom. more along the lines of, like, dudes getting their dicks broke. Yeah. Because, like, know you know, you see, like, in porn, because, I know, never heard it straight from him, but I heard it from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you see the porn, and they're just really going at it for the camera, and, like, something slips, and... Yeah, they, you know, they, they, it's, it's a bunch of muscle tears. Yeah, and they're just gonna fucking like bend the dick in half. What is that? Uh, fucking, my, still my favorite commercial, bitcarrot.com. Yes. Fucking, bitcarrot.com's commercial for a Peroni's disease if you got a bit pee pee. Yeah, the best part about that whole commercial is they just keep showing bit carrots and all this, 
And then really tiny text, they mention that it's a series of injections into your dick. But they only mention it really tiny because they're like, well, you can fix your big dick if you let it stab it with a needle like 35 times. Right. It's like, well, it's only a little to the left. Now Ariana's busy staring at uh, Workman's Comp Well, I, was, I just saw something that I was trying to see here. For a traditional sex scene between a man and a woman, the average actor's compensation is typically between $800 and $1,000, depending on the studio's budget. Top, tiers, top tier performers can earn as much as $1,500, occasionally $2,000. So you better star in at least one porn scene a week. If not a couple. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to be, uh, I mean, if you're good and you're working it, you know. I feel like anybody in the porn industry gets uh, screwed. <laughs> because they're not, uh, like, they're getting screwed over because they're not getting the fucking royalties. Yeah, that's going to be the big trick is, mm -hmm. like, you know, yeah, I'm getting paid 800 was it 800 to 1000 Yeah, for you know, just Okay, so mediocre. cool. I, I filmed a scene today. I filmed a scene tomorrow. Cool, that's like 2000 bucks. That'll be like my budget for the month. And a couple could have sex on OnlyFans once a week and charge for it and eventually make a surplus. Like make that in a day. Well, like, you know, who's to say they can't keep post re making money off that same video from their OnlyFans? But, right, you know, absolutely, they would. But, like, you know, in that same breath, you know, I, I as the professional porn actor, I made 800, my 800 to 1000 this week. Now, you as the porn company, the porn producer, how much are you making off that, reselling that, reselling that, and reselling that, you know? To be fair. Because you per because whatever contract I sign says you basically have the rights to my dick. Right. You are legally entitled to do whatever you want with the images and video of my penis and or whomever's vagina, so. That's unfortunate. And then you hear about like, well, that's okay. I'm gonna have to insure my dick for like, cause my dick's so good. I'm making the thousand dollars. I'm making the thousand dollars a shoot. I'm doing like two shoots a day. Man, my dick is fucking gold. I'm getting this bitch insured in case anything happens to it and herpes. Oh, you know what I say? I, I, I wonder if herpes porn exists, but it exists. I bet. That's right. She's like, oh, I got this. I'm look, look, it look this up real quick. <laughs> I feel like I need to now. Right? You got herpes. She's porn. gonna be getting um, advertisements on Facebook for herpes cures and herpes treatments. <laughs> and if you like, can't really cure it, so it'd be like, like herpes treatments. porn. And then there's herpes like herpes. Search free sex videos. Watch herpes porn videos for free. That's true. Free watch free genital herpes videos. So this could be for like the person that's like, I've got fucking herpes, man, I'm a fucking piece of shit. I can only fuck other people with herpes now. Man, I should oh, just... this chick has a dick. Herpes having hoe fucked free. Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? You looked at porn on the internet. Your brain is being slowly rotted away, dear. I'm good. Oh. That's great. So, we learned that... We learned... Let's see. I learned today that your dentist definitely... So, if you go to the dentist and you're not flossing, but you're sucking dick, that's okay. He won't know that you were not flossing, but he'll know you were sucking dick. What'd you learn today? Um, what did I learn today? I forgot. Uh, probably that. She learned about her being born today. I'm gonna just insert that. I learned that. that workers' compensation porn exists. Apparently, <laughs> I wonder. I'm very curious now how that. She's gonna be st staying up too too late tonight. She's gonna be like, I gotta go to work tomorrow. I gotta get up early. What time is it? Damn it! It's one thirty. <laughs> she's like, well, at least I jerked off. She's like, well, like, well, I jerked off like 12 times, so that's a thing at least. Is it like your fucking HR to get your workman's comp or something? There you go. Is right. that what it is? I'm assuming. I don't know. They'll be like, I don't believe you've got, you're fucking disabled. Prove it. Prove it. I'll prove you're not disabled. I'm going to suck your dick, and then you're going to fuck me hard. That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, that's the only thing, you know. And then it's like, ha, you fucked me super hard. I guys him like 12 times. I know that you can work and get your ass back to that job. Or they're like bribing somebody with sex, like, oh, like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll suck your dick if you don't turn me in. If you work, if you sign this work on Scott paper. Something like that, yeah. Quid pro quo, workplace sexual harassment. Whoop, there you go. I almost sexually harassed somebody today by accident. It happens. 
That's right. And you're standing in the workplace at your machine and somebody's behind you and whoa, you almost grab an ass. Yeah, total accident. Like, whoa. <laughs> what did you uh, learn today? I learned that Ariana should have a desensitized gag reflex when she drinks, but she doesn't because she choked herself with a toothbrush. Yeah. There, there. Very sad. Very sad. Yeah. And you. Hey, well. And? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And Mr. Like, subscribe, share. We're on all your favorite podcast services, YouTube, um, other places, Spotify, Apple. I don't know. Where the fuck are we at? Well, pretty oh, much all of the main podcasts. We have a Facebook page. We have Instagram. TikTok and Twitter soon to come. Tell your friends, tell your kids, tell your friends' kids, tell your mother, tell your grandmother, tell them all, listen to us because I don't know why not. Because your grandma definitely needs to hear about Ariana's gag reflex. <laughs> Bye. I just forgot the heavy metal part of this. <laughs> Definitely will tell by the dents in the back of your throat that the dick you've been sucking. Ron, nothing's been caught multiple times. That's right. Nothing about your teeth. Nothing about your teeth.